program Mommy coming to you uh, with a program called the Midnight Watch. The secret of all breakthroughs is in one revelation, the Midnight Hour. It is the hour of all breakthroughs. The Israelites living in Egypt had a prophetic word that they were going to be released one day from the Egyptian slavery and bondage and they were released at the midnight hour. Ruth, a Moabitess woman, got married to Boaz when she understood what to do at the midnight hour. Paul and Silas were in prison, the Bible says, at midnight hour they prayed and they gave God's praises. The Bible says, suddenly all doors were opened, the prison foundation was shaken. When you pray at the midnight hour, whatever is unshakable can be shakable for all doors to open. Your spiritual doors, your business doors, your career doors, your family doors, your marital doors will open up for you if you will pray with me at the midnight hour. So every Thursday midnight, stay with me to pray with me. God bless. Praise God. You're watching Midnight Watch, the hour of breakthrough. Can I take a few of your minutes? I want to say something to you that is profound, that is powerful, that is important. God had an idea. God had a dream. And the dream and the idea that God had was to change the world, was to bring a solution and an answer to the world. And he created you to come into this earth, to come into a generation like this one, so that you can come and matter. Now God wants you to reign and to rule in the marketplace. When God created you, he gave you a title and he called you a king. But he also gave you a territory, the whole earth. What has happened over years is that Satan has robbed and stolen God's people titles, God's people territories, God's people positions. And God's people possessions. Now God has commissioned me. He has called me to empower, to equip, and to commission men and women with the kingly anointing and the kingly principles and release them in the marketplace to go and take back their territories, their titles, their possessions, their power, and offices of authority. And so I'm on a campaign to raise a thousand people that will wake up and realize that they have territory, they have places, they have offices, they have positions, they have businesses that they must take back from the hands of the enemy. And that's what God has called me to do. And so God has asked me to start with a thousand people that I can pray with, that I can empower, that I can give materials that could equip them to do just that. And so I've decided to give my materials. I'm giving one book, I'm giving two DVDs, and I'm giving two CDs. I'm giving all this to you so you can be empowered and equipped. And all I want is for you to sow in a seed of $50. The original price is $80, but I've canceled because I want you to have the materials, the DVDs, the anointing on the DVDs. The DVDs, one is called the king's language. It will equip you how to speak like a king in the marketplace. One is called your calling, your covenant, and your covering. And the CDs will, will just bring an anointing for ruling and for reigning. And so I want you to write to me. I want you to send me an email. And I want you to say, please, I want to be one of the thousand people that is ready to take back my territory. And so, go to my website, www.midnightwatch.co.za and say, can I have that package? It's called the Priest King Connection. I will stand as a priest to pray for you and you will go as a king to take your territories. For $50 only, I give you all these wonderful materials. Continue watching the program. Don't go away. Praise the Lord. Royal greetings and kingdom blessings unto you. This is Midnight Watch, the hour of breakthrough, a program designed to help you stand at the midnight hour and conceive the promises of God, download the promises of God, open all closed doors and be ushered into the promises of God. 
this night we are reading from the book of Luke 11 and we're going to look at the secret of the midnight watch and thereafter we are going to take some time to pray tonight together. I want you to understand it doesn't matter which door is closed. Probably as you're watching me tonight, you've received, oh thank you Lord Jesus. There's someone, you're watching me, I hear this in my spirit. You have just received the divorce summons from your spouse. Listen, your story can change. Tonight it's going to be powerful because I'm going to show you how you can reverse the irreversible when you know how to engage into warfare at the midnight hour. I don't care what's happening in your life. Maybe you've received bad news. Maybe you've been told you've got cancer. You've been told you're HIV positive. You've been told there is no door for you. There is no vacancy for you. You've been denied your visa. I don't care the bad news you have received. I want you to see a man who received the bad news at midnight hour and he decided to persist in prayer at midnight hour and every door opened and everything he wanted was given unto him even at the midnight hour. This is why I bring this program to tell you that there is hope. There is hope if you will persist at the midnight hour. In the book of Luke chapter number 11, the Bible says in verse number 1, And it came to pass that as he was praying in a certain place, when he ceased, one of his disciples said unto him, Lord, teach us to pray as John taught his disciples. Now, I wrote something in my book that the disciples, they saw Jesus do three things. They saw Jesus, number one, they saw Jesus preach the word, they saw Jesus pray, and they saw Jesus perform miracles. They never asked Jesus to teach them how to perform miracles. They never asked Jesus to teach them how to pray. They asked Jesus to teach them how to pray. They must have realized that the secret of Jesus' greatness and supernatural kind of life and miracles was embedded and imbibed in his prayer life. So they cried out unto him, Jesus, teach us how to pray. Listen, a prayerful person is a powerful person and a prayerful life is a purposeful life. When you learn how to pray, I heard a great man say, when the weakest Christian kneels down to pray, the devil begins to tremble. There is power in, in prayer. In fact, I define prayer as a P-R-A-Y-E-R. -E prayer releases all your eternal resources. When you begin to pray, heavens open up and all your resources for your assignment and kingdom life are released. They asked to learn how to pray. Beloved, you need to learn how to pray. Prayer is powerful. Prayer, more prayer, more power. Less prayer, less power. No prayer, no power. We live in the world today where people are lazy to pray. But listen, when you need a breakthrough, you need to engage yourself into prayer. So they asked, teach us how to pray. And in verse number two, he answered, he said unto them, when you pray, say, when you pray, say, our Father, which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thou be done, thy will be done as in heaven, so in earth. Give us today by day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Now, he shows them how to pray, but I like what he said. He said, when you pray. He did not say, if you pray. He said, when you pray. In other words, he's talking of the appropriate time to pray. He's talking of a prophetic time to pray. So he's saying the time at which you pray and what you say when you pray determines a foundation of an effective prayer. Complaining is not praying. Saying, Lord, you know what I'm going through is not praying. There are some words which you need to know how to speak, how to phrase them when you pray at the time when you pray. Now, in verse number five, he shows them what prayer can, can do. He says unto them, and he said unto them, which of you shall have a friend and shall go unto him at midnight and say unto him, friend, lend me three loves. Now, Jesus says, look, if you have a situation and it's midnight time, 
time. Now he's about to show them that midnight time is that key that will open every door. He just taught them how to pray, but he showed them when to pray, and suddenly he talks of midnight. In other words, he is saying to them, midnight is the VIP, VIP door or gate to the heaven's best, to the heaven's resources. It's the quickest way to get a breakthrough. And in fact, midnight, almost everyone is sleeping. It's the best time to pray. So he says, which of you shall have a friend and, and at midnight and you go unto him and say friend I have a need I have a need of three laws of bread for a friend of mine in his journey is come to me and I have nothing to set before him and he from within shall answer and say trouble me not the door is now shut and my children are with me in bed I cannot rise and give thee I say unto you Though he will not rise and give him, but because, because he is his friend, yet because of his persistence or importunity, he will rise and give him as many as he needeth. Now Jesus here, he says, if you have a need, he, he gives them an example of a man who had a need at midnight. Everyone is sleeping. The, the lights are off. I mean, I'm in my house right now and, and, and I can tell it's quiet in this place because everyone is sleeping in the Sabbath. It's midnight time. So he says, this man goes to a man who owns a, a shop where they sell bread, and it's midnight hour, and he knocks on the door. He says, hey, my friend, I have a need. A friend of mine is visiting, and I have nothing to say before him on the table. Beloved, the worst that can happen is to have a need and you have no finances. Is to have a need and you have no divine direction or guidance. Is to have a need and you just don't have the means of how to meet that need. Is there a need in your life? Is there a spiritual need in your life? Is there a financial need in your life? Is there a marital need in your life? Is there an employment need in your life? Is there a business need in your life? And are you having a need at a time when both your friends and family are sleeping on you and you're all by yourself crying at midnight is there anything that can happen I have a word from the Lord for you if you will persist to pray at midnight hour doors will open the people that refuse to listen to you will listen unto you if you will pray at the midnight hour the doors that were closed for you will open I believe that's a midnight hour somebody calling I believe in the name of the Lord that all those people who said you are useless, you're going nowhere, they'll have a change of their mind when you learn to pray at the midnight hour. Because a person who learns to stand at the midnight hour rules during the daytime. Jesus said because this man went and persisted, even if the door was shut, even if the lights were off, even if the man was sleeping, but because of his persistence Stands at the midnight hour, the sleeping man arose and gave him as much as many loaves of bread as he wanted. Listen, do not be intimidated that the doors are closed. Do not be intimidated or frustrated because someone gave you a big no. Here's a solution. Come, let's pray together at the midnight hour. Come, let's talk to God at the midnight hour. Jesus here is giving us a law of persistence. The law of persistence is stronger than resistance. I want to say that again. The law of persistence is stronger than the law of resistance. Men and women who win in this life are men and women of persistence. It does not matter how long you are resisted. You are resisted. It does not matter how long you are fought. If you will persist on your knees, if you will persist in prayer, things will happen. Jesus says to them, listen friends, when you pray, engage yourself at the midnight hour and every closed door will open every marital closed door will open every business closed door will open every financial closed door will open midnight hour is the key that opens stubborn doors and
and stubborn gaze to give a child of God a life of victory. Now when he finishes giving that example, he says these in verse number 9. And I say unto you, ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that asketh receiveth. And he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh it shall be opened. If a son shall ask bread of any of you that is the father, will he give him a stone? Or if he ask a fish, will he for a fish give him a serpent? Or if he ask an egg, will he offer him a, a scorpion? If you then being evil know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him? Jesus give them an example of what prayer will do at midnight hour. Close doors will open. Beloved, tonight I hope you are ready. Uh, and if you're not ready to pray with me, if you don't have your elements of communion, I want to give you just a few seconds. Grab some water, grab some juice, grab some bread. I want us to believe God for great things. Hallelujah. Right now, I want you to get a piece of paper. I want you to write every door that has closed. Relationship doors that have closed. I want you to write business doors that have closed. I want you to write marriages that have closed. I want you to write anything that you want God to open and bring to you. Because tonight is a night of breakthrough. This is my custom. This is my custom. Always learn to take a bottle of anointing oil or olive oil. Those of you who brought the olive oil, I want to bless that olive oil and command the receiving anointing to come upon it. Praise the Lord. It's my sincere belief and faith that you've been blessed participating and watching Midnight Watch, the hour of breakthrough. I don't want you to go away without putting this book in your hands. This book is called Midnight Watch, the hour of breakthrough. The secret that opens all doors, the secret to all breakthroughs, is learning to do eight things at the midnight hour. And so in this book, I write eight things that you need to do at the midnight hour to quickly access your blessings and your breakthroughs. I also talk about the 12 secrets that you need to know to have your prayers answered. Of course, I talk on how doors will open if you can be disciplined to pray for seven midnights. And so in this book, there are also about a hundred prayer points that you'll need to engage yourself to see every closed door open. When you hold this book, you can be assured of marriage restoration. You can pray in an ideal godly husband or wife. You will see how doors of business and finances will open at the minute hour, but at the same time, you'll have so much power of God, you'll access the presence of God, and your confidence will be so real. I don't know how long you've been in your situation, and I don't know how long you've suffered. At one time, I was just like you. I had no house. I had no way to be. My ministry was going down. But when God gave me the secret of all breakthroughs, which is called midnight hour, and praying at midnight hour, and learning how to pray at midnight hour, my life changed. So I want to put this book in your hands. 350 pages. It's an awesome book. You don't want to put it down. I've also talked on how to command creation and seasons to favor you. So get the book. It's, it's a wonderful book. Get a copy. Send us an email and request for the book. Either electronic version or the hard copy to come to you. God bless you.